I had also, and this is key for a founder, I had also made many, many, many emotional deposits in that board's bank account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? I didn't ask them for things that I didn't need. I ran the business in such a degree that they would want to do business with me again. And so when I came to them with an ask, they knew that it was serious and meaningful and, um, and important to getting the deal done. And I, I think I had enough deposits to where I could then make this emotional withdrawal uh, as well without being overdrawn, as I like to say, yeah. from, from, from that. So um, I, that, that's something else I'd say. You have to think about these things, Todd, as you know, years ahead of them happening. Yep. You have to be the type of CEO that when push comes to shove and you need to ask for something, you've built up enough credence and, and character that people will ride alongside of you. And the only way to do that is, I don't know, be that person. You can't really fake it. Right? Mm -hmm. You just have to, you have to, you have to be that sort of a person. Um, so thank you for sharing that because, you know, we, we recently sold a business where exit wise had to go to that board, those series, that set of investors and say, in order to make this transaction happen, there is an owner of this business that is not being compensated correctly for the amount of work she is going to have to do to get this deal done and what she's going to have to give up over the next period of time to make sure all investors get their money. And I was, we've been very pleasantly surprised in that type of scenario that investors get it.